Hey, I thought making a little video would be easier uh, to understand. You're definitely on the right track. You've got the right idea. Um, what I would do is kind of simplify. And again, I know you worked hard on creating all this, but just to clean up some things here, uh, I deleted those. We've got the nerves, uh, you know, that you need. Just make sure that this one, if it's your main control, then you're going to middle mouse click and drag these into it so that when you click on that it moves all of them together uh, and then you'll need to create the kind of structure in this so then we've got our hips control and all of these go into that so I uh, command or control click to grab all of them middle mouse click and drag into the hips um, and then the arm will go into the back because you want to make sure if we're clicking on the back that everything above it rotates with it. Alright. The neck and arm don't need to be parented because those will be on their own. So it looks like you've got double joints going on in here. So let's twirl this down. I'm going to delete your control group. Yep, and you still have everything that we need here. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, and then all of the fingers. So let me see if this is still attached to anything. Nope. And just to make sure, you can go to edit, delete by type history, if there's ever a nerve that you're not sure if it's connected. So now that we have this. I think I've deleted your IK handle, which is okay. I'm actually going to grab this controller and do Command D, which duplicates it, and delete the one that is attached here. So now you'll just go to Rigging, Skeleton, Create IK Handle. I'll click on the shoulder, click on the wrist. Make sure to name this left arm IK. And of course you'll need to put it back in the groups, but I think by doing this it'll be much easier for you. You may want to, before we create that IK handle, make sure that your arm has some bend to it. So rotate and rotate. Skeleton. And we can also do rotate this this way, right mouse click and hold, set preferred angle, then move it back to be where you would like it. Skeleton, create IK handle, shoulder, wrist. Right arm IK. There we go that's moving appropriately and then we'll just hold shift and do our parent constraint oh I'm sorry I did that backwards so our controller hold shift grab the IK constrain parent now if we grab that ring it moves our IK so you'll want to do that for all four here. So it looks like you've got these pretty straight. You can move them out. Um, I know Popeye is slightly weird in his dimensions, but you'll want to give some bend to that knee as well. And once you get it where you want it, we can go to skeleton, create IK handle, grab that top one, grab that ankle and there you have your IK. Now you can always click on the word pull vector and rotate a little bit. We can also try you know setting that preferred angle just to get the bend exactly how you want it.
Now I can do something like this. Right mouse click and hold, set preferred angle, bring it back down to where you want it. Skeleton, create IK, hip, ankle. Now this would totally be his left side. So ignore how I um, said that earlier. But then you could create the controller for that. So making sure that you've got the IK handle set up first, that your controllers are parented how you would like them. You'll need to create controllers for your feet. Um, but get started with that and then let me know what you think. All right.